Hi, everybody. Good evening, everyone. See if I can do this one. I'm going to have to put the Friday videos on hold until later tonight. And this is uh, Thursday morning. It's 3.30. I'm going to have to put hold until later tonight to record tomorrow's videos. So... I mean, the more I talk, the more my throat's hurting. So let's just get let's let's just push through this one, and I can rest and rest my voice. But sorry for being gone all week. Sorry for missing the weekend video on the weekend. Oh, uh, which reminds me, that weekend video will be this coming Saturday. The uh, weekend video for the twenty second and twenty third. Will be next Saturday, for on the 29th at seven o'clock. There'll be an extra video for Saturday, but then Sunday will be the regular for the uh, the last video of the month episode. I mean, not episode, but the 29th and 30th on Sunday at seven. So that'll be a regular video there. But the last week's, that way we, we can go ahead and have that one thing. But the rest of them, wipe the slate clean. But today we're going to be talking about episode, we're just keeping the numbers right where they were. So episode 524. Deeper, broader, boundless. Beginning with Ephesians 319, which we'll be reading in the, in the uh, recommended reading, Ephesians 3, 14 to 21. Our turning point is from Mary Dagworthy James. I don't know whether you can see it or not. Right there. That was the way the word that was where the name is. And then our Bible reading is 2 Kings 24 and 25. Which I know in that one we left off on 2 Kings 4 and 5. So we got. 2 Kings 6, all the way to 23. So 2 Kings 6 to 23 is where we left off on this reading. So, so I think I already have the book for, for May, I think. I think I already got May's book already in there somewhere. I think I received it just before my birthday, so. And like my birthday, I was totally out of it. So luckily, I already had the videos for, for that day and Wednesday done, already up, ready to go. So I didn't have to worry about recording them those days. So Monday evening, it started. Tuesday, it got started. It was bad. I stayed in bed most of the day, but I had to get up and take. My mother had a surprise doctor's appointment. That afternoon. Then Wednesday was just hectic. And then, and then by the time I come for the Thursday Thursday videos to record, I just didn't have any strength. I couldn't talk. I, I mean, I, I could talk, but I couldn't talk very much. Because the more I talk, the more my throat hurts. So, which is my that's the reason why I'm not going to be able to, in this session, to record the Friday videos along with these videos so you just have to do i just have to come back irl later tonight and see if i can get the friday ones done maybe my voice will be a little bit better by then but so but excited about this i hope you enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like remember the like challenge in the morning video is the explanation and remember the like challenge is not met with those videos. It's just the morning and afternoon videos. If it's not met in those videos, then it's canceled at episode 1100. And then subscribe if you do. Turn on notifications. How was your day today? You know how you know the drill on this one. Um, help me get to at least help me get to the 50 mark. At first off. Still ain't hit the 50. Too bad I didn't hit it for my birthday. 
but I'd like to get to 100 by the end of summer. Either May 27th is my three-year anniversary on YouTube. It was 1095 for three years of videos, but that day, I'm going to I'm gonna push it back to 1101 or 1102 for three years of videos, which would be after episode 1100. But, um, or August the 1st, the end of summer. So, so please help me get those numbers reached. You'll make me very, very happy. Don't make me sad again like you did on my birthday. I've been sitting, waiting to get eight subscribers that whole weekend, all the way up to midnight Tuesday, and nothing. So, but it is what it is. But deeper, broader, boundless. Ephesians 3.19 says, to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge. That's what that book says. Now, the actual 19 in my Bible says this. Ephesians 4, 14 to 21. If you've got your Bibles, turn there already. If not, just listen. See if I can get it in the light pretty good. So for this reason, I know my knees. I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with the might through his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all that, all the saints what is the width, the length, the depth, and height, to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. So Mary Dagworthy James, which is the lady with the turning point, began teaching Sunday school at age 13 and later became a prominent figure in the Wesleyan holiness movement. She wrote the famous gospel song, All for Jesus, and many other hymns. One of her songs, Everlasting Love, has been forgotten, but it provides a rich imagery for visualizing God's love. And here is a piece from that song. Mary wrote, Wondrous words, how rich in blessing, deeper than the unfathomed sea, broader than its world of waters, boundless, infinite, and free, higher than the heavens above, is that everlasting love. I think I've I think that's a song I heard on Christian radio when I was at Word Life. I think that was one of the songs I heard on Christian radio somewhere during Word of Life days. <clears throat> but I may be mistaken. But love begins with God. God is love. And he loves us with agape love. A-G-A-P-E, agape love. Not because of anything we have done, but because of who he is. Mm, excuse me. It's a wondrous love, rich in blessing, deeper than the sea, broader than the waters, and higher than the heavens. That is his incredible love for you and me. Embrace it fully and rejoice it today. So she always uh, also says has a turning point. She says, all for Jesus, all for Jesus, all my beings, ransom powers, all my thoughts and words and doings, all my days and all my hours. So the other, other song she wrote, one of the other songs she wrote. But there we go. 
Deeper Brother Barrels, episode 525. So coming up tomorrow, so I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on. Trust the God. He'll keep you safe and all you say in your 2023 and beyond. And until tomorrow, peace out, everybody. So long farewell. Come back tomorrow for, for another beautiful Fast Friday. The first one in a couple weeks. <laughs> but... And we'll, we'll talk about episode 1050, part one, at seven. And we'll be talking about the next The Series video, The Unseen Angels, number 157. And to let you know, the one we missed on Monday, the The Series video on Monday, will be uh, Monday, May the 6th. As of a Saturday bonus video, so so stay tuned for that. I'll get to, I'll be able to squeeze that in between. I I pushed up the numbers. We'll have like one. We'll have three more, and I'll be able to have that one we missed, and then back to the ones that we haven't got to yet. So, but that passage will start in Psalm ninety one eleven which will be another psalm entry as well, um, from Henry M. Morris at 7. Tomorrow at 1, we'll be laughing out loud from Allison Kedia Kayeda, however it's pronounced, from Genesis 21, 1 through 7. And then tomorrow night at 7, we'll be Overcoming the World, episode 526. Beginning with John 14, 27. Our recommended reading is Matthew 24, 4-14. Our turning point is from E. Stanley Jones. And then 1 Chronicles 1 and 2 is where we're starting off tomorrow. So we end up 2 Kings today. And then tomorrow we start on 1 Chronicles. Chapters 1 and 2. And then the weekend... 1 Chronicles 3 through 6 for the weekend. So, and like I said, the weekend video, Saturday night will be uh, part 4 of the of the series. And then Sunday will be part 5 for the weekend series. So, where we'll be talking about the Emmaus Road on Saturday... And then we'll be talking about the apostles on Sunday. So that's the, the account from the resurrection story. So, so stay tuned for those. I'll get to those at a later time. But you'll see those at the appointed times the next few days. So I cannot record as of right now. I'm not going on to record tomorrow's videos. I'll have to come back later tonight, IRL and do those for tomorrow so stay tuned i'll get to those later tonight but you'll see those tomorrow so uh, i'm starting start to get congested so it's hard for me to talk so but but with that said i love you i appreciate you thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it keep on keeping on trusting god and he'll keep you safe and all you say in 2023 and beyond and until but until tomorrow peace out everybody so long, farewell, come back tomorrow for another beautiful Fast Friday, and we'll see what God has in store for us then. So until then, God bless everyone, God bless America in 2023, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> so until tomorrow, me and Baby Yoda, we out for tonight. So have a great rest of your blessed, thankful Thursday evening, and we'll see you tomorrow for your beautiful Fast Friday. What that's going to be? Come back and find out. We hope to see you there. So, bye everybody. Sorry for not being here all week, but Joe was sick, so we had to take to take a week off. So sorry for that. So I hope you I hope to see you tomorrow. Ah! You can't ever tell what he's gonna say. So, 
But until tomorrow, goodbye. <laughs>